Good viewers, welcome to today's reading. This reading is for Monday, Tuesday, January 22nd, 23rd, 2024, and this reading is for everyone. These are the messages for everyone, each and every one of you. Welcome, he my dear viewers, and Happy New Year again. For those of you who are coming back, I hope you have a wonderful, prosperous, safe New Year. And happy birthday to those of you celebrating this Monday, the 22nd, on Tuesday, 23rd of January. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, happy anniversary, happy occasions to each and every one of you. I wish you all my best wishes to each of my viewers, whether you're celebrating or not. Abundance of joy and happiness and blessings for you today and always. Let us see what is the first message for the collective for today. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Let's have a look. Since it's not coming out, <laughs> I might as well cut it. Okay, so it says listen. Hmm, very interesting. It's saying shh and listen. Okay, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurances that everything has been taken care of stay in a quiet and receptive state stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestations a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request to you listen something interesting is happening for them to say to listen very, very interesting. Okay, my dear viewers. Now, I've got a card here, which I've just shuffled and taken out. And it says acceptance. Acceptance. Uh, accepting a situation isn't like putting up with it. It's finally accepting something that might be very hard to accept. Coming to terms with it and being able to deal with it face on with the truth. So we've got that one here. Okay, now we're going to take out of the tea leaves four messages. Starting with this first one four and this one here okay so we've got our four messages let's get these out of the way now the four messages are we have egg that means a new beginning something new is igniting a nest a new adventure a new life it says success assured with good plans and hard work according to the tea leaf I'll always tell you my version, and I'll tell you the the um, the tea leaves version. Wealth, wealth is destined and imminent. Wreath, okay, sorrow over a loss. There could be somebody passing. Sorrow and loss and March, something about March could be the passing around March. Okay, so uh, my dear viewers, we're going to move to the next level, and the next level is. The sacred forest and one message for us all and it says wisdom using your mind your logic your intellect with your heart your soul your inner inner um, voice your gut feeling intuition whatever you may call it together united you can make your decisions based on using your wisdom especially when it comes to something where it's a bit challenging to have your freedom and to succeed and to overcome a challenge you need both your mind and your heart working together so that's very important. Now, let's have a look at four major impacts that will impact the whole collective, all of us, each and every one of us, for Monday, Tuesday, January 22nd and 23rd, starting with four. Let's start with the first one. Wow, what a beautiful start, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a lot of blessings pouring into your life, having finally achieving what you have always wished for and dreamed of and a great success awaits you that's beautiful the next one overcoming a problem not overcoming it this is an area of your life where you feel defeated that there's no win no matter how much you're winning you feel sort of defeated and there's nothing much you can do it is about sometimes uh, a conflicting a situation which i feel with this is coming to an end but we'll find out I want to be 100% and certain. Justice will prevail in this matter. And justice is going to be in your favor. The truth is going to set you free and help you, support you, move forward. And finally, earth energy. Someone like Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is going to be very supportive. You are finally going to reach to a level of financial freedom. But I'll clarify to be 100%. Now, what you don't see coming is hidden matters. Empowerment. I love that. Okay, so I'll take three. 
It says hidden matters are coming to light to the point where secrets will be revealed, situations are revealed, so that you are empowered to see your path clearly, to know where you're heading and what is ahead of you, what is coming in your path. The moon is going to open up everything for you to be able to see clearly and you'll know where you stand. Empowerment to the highest level with the moon. Empowerment again with the emperor. Having control and power over your destiny, knowing where you're going, knowing that you are the master of your domain, you are the one that's controlling your life and there's nothing else holding you back. And finally, the empress, these are all major arcana, big time, showing another major arcana here, justice. That means they're going to impact your life on a, on a very grand scale, in a very big way. Let's put it simple English, in a grand, not grand, big way. Okay, the empress is all about... Somebody was uh, talking to me and they said, this, this is the way you speak. Uh, in real life, I said, yes, this is the way I speak. Sometimes I try to use uh, smaller words to make, uh, you know, I, I forget sometimes I just talk the way I was used to talking. Anyhow, the Empress is all about a lot of nurturing power and it is about abundance. So this is what's coming. What's coming is spectacular. Let's have a look at three important messages. I'll just put the egg and the acceptance and I'll put... I guess I'll leave that the way it is. Maybe wealth. I'll take wealth and put it with the egg and the wreath with the march. Okay. Now, three major important factors for everyone. Let's have a look. The truth. So we've got temperance, which shows a lot of stability is coming. A lot of happiness is coming. A lot of abundance is coming. You just need to be a little bit patient. Everything is going to be falling into place for you. We have the King of Swords, someone of air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Finally, you will know the truth. Finally, you have the clarity to see your path clearly. And with this uh, seeing the truth and having clarity, you will be empowered big time to take action. Finally, you can take action because you can see things clearly. And then you've got the Eight of Wands, taking advantage of a situation, of an, of an opportunity, and healing a situation if you take action quickly. With the Eight of Wands, you need to be very quick. When an opportunity or news of some sort presents itself, take advantage of it. Take action quickly in regard to it. This is going to help you understand uh, first, resolve a problem and take advantage of an opportunity, like I said before, opportunity. And what you don't see happening and coming, oh my God, hmm. the sacrifice, the hangman is upright. <laughs> that means the sacrifice that you've been doing is over. Wow, I hardly ever see this. My goodness, it's coming to February and a lot of people will be released from a lot of karmic sacrifices. So the sacrifice that you have been sacrificing and putting your interest aside and doing for the sake of someone is over. You are going to be rejoicing an ending that gives you a lot of abundance. Wow. You are going to be released from the Eight of Swords. Oh my God, from being restricted and um, not having the power because of the emperor is going to give you the power, the control over your life. So the Eight of Swords um, being restricted and and not able to move is over. The sacrifice, that is over. A new beginning that brings you abundance, happiness, and you are going to be rejoicing in the Four of Wands. Wow. This is amazing. A new beginning that gives you a great victory and a lot of realization. You'll understand why certain things happen. And the Four of Wands repeats again a lot of blessings. A lot of extraordinary blessings coming your way. So much blessings that you are going to be amazed. With the Empress on your side, you can't go wrong. There is so much going on. So many blessings with the Four of Wands. All your wishes and dreams. Blessings pouring in and wealth. Wealth being the main, the main matter here. I think it's going to be, it doesn't have to be the main matter. Wishes and dreams coming true and a lot of abundance and wealth. But you will be in so much gratitude with the Four of Wands. This is like spectacular. I'll just put it like that so you can see it. And the Empress right behind it. This is just incredible. Absolutely incredible what I'm seeing here. Wow. Okay, so... This is what you don't see coming, and the um, wealth goes back here. All right, now, before I do this, there are two more messages I would like to know. Two more messages for the collective. The truth, that's the first one. And the second one, 
23rd of January and there we go. Let's have a look what are these two main messages for the butterfly spirit and it says buddy movement. Mm, there's going to be a lot of buddy movement. This is bizarre. A lot of movement is going to take place. I see all the angels hovering over someone. Something's happening here. Something amazing is taking place. Buddy movement. I've never seen this before. First time. Let's see the second one. It says, follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. And that is gorgeous also. Follow your dreams. Wow. Now, my dear viewers, I'm going to start. No, I can't clarify yet. I just realized there's some things that I'm missing. Okay. We're going to take two messages from this deck for everybody. Starting with the first one, which is gold. Beautiful stability and finances. And the second one is the love heart. A matter of the heart getting exactly emotional spending, joint finances, um, being supported. So you're not alone. You're putting your money together with someone and be really supported. Uh, getting exactly what you love. Getting the job you love. Getting what you love. Uh, this is about careers that you love also. Counseling, guide, being a, um, a spiritual leader, some, someone very compassionate, working in the compassion field. And getting exactly what you love and getting the job you love. I love the love heart. It's magical. Now, the gold, another beautiful one. This is all about investing with integrity, deep values, solid finances. It is also about long-term investments, banking, putting money in term deposits perhaps, satisfying work conditions. And it's also about careers and banking and uh, careers that are long-term. A lot of sol uh, solid solid uh, investments and uh, solid finances some careers that bring you solid finances okay long-term solid finances the other message is we've got healing and and we've got romance okay so healing is wonderful healing is about um family issues maybe healing family issues releasing purging healing forgiving and benefiting as you forgive situations and families and things from childhood, people purging, going through that. Romantic feelings are growing. Your feelings are worth exploring because they're growing and growing and things are becoming spectacular with the love heart there, with having your dreams, wishes and come true, blessings coming into your life. I feel like something big and major is going to take place and you are going to be loving it. So that's that one there. Now... Um, the message for today and then I'll clarify the cards for the collective it says here look deep within your heart and you will find my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean somebody truly loves you somebody wants to spend the rest of their life with you I feel like someone wants to start a nest with you starting fresh a nest having this uh, beautiful life destined for you I just feel like there is someone magical here for you and with romantic feelings. Um, okay, bear with me. I just put these properly. It's not actually nesting. Just I want to talk about the love. Getting what you love and falling in love and having your dream life with someone. Someone truly loves you and within your heart you know this person really loves you. So there's a lot of blessings coming and I feel like this love is worth exploring. You're having the dream life together with this person. A lot of blessings are coming. So if you are concerned, you need to know that this person truly loves you and their love is as deep as the ocean. And that tells me possibly this person, either you or this person, have got water energy, Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. There's a lot of water energy here and there's a lot of blessings here. So blessings are pouring in and I feel like this is going to be deep in your side, you know. And there's a lot of romance between you and this person. So something really big, romantic, uh, deep romantic love between you and someone so it is worth exploring and no be mindful that it is going to be a specta spectacular love situation okay so um the next one that's here and i'm going to put this for right next to it so when i explore it we know what we're doing and the nest of course shows that you're starting fresh uh, a new life a new nest now Let's start with acceptance. I'd like to know about acceptance. What is it all about? And then I'll do the four of wands. What is it that you need to accept? Okay, wealth and rewards. Great victory coming. Who can't accept that? 
it's just showing that once you go through acceptance, you are going to be rewarded. There's going to be a rise in your money and a lot of rewards. A lot of accepting something is also important because you are finally going to have a lot of rewards. Remember, uh, the hangman is upright. So that tells me uh, a lot of work you've done, a lot of applause from the universe, a lot of gifts, rewards from the universe for a job well done, for putting your interests aside and sacrificing. You are going to have the greatest victory. And a lot of wealth is coming your way. A lot of money is coming. Wealth, money, rewards, and gold. This is amazing. So you got gold, you got a rise in your money, you got wealth, you got gold, and you got a lot of rewards. This is big and major. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. My dear viewers, this is great. Acceptance. This was all because of acceptance. Sorry, my hair got stuck in this. Uh, in regard to acceptance, okay? So now we move on. And what you don't see coming, end of quarrel. Uh, there could be a quarrel or there could be a, not a quarrel, a conflict regarding money. Unexpected large amount of money is coming. And there could be a little bit of uh, problems or disagreements in regard to it. But this money could solve this disagreement. This is abundance, life-changing money that's coming. So that is part of the wealth that's here. Next, we're going to move into water energy that I was talking about. You see these cards, they're pushing themselves. Somebody's not very happy. There may be some problems with water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but things are going to get better. There is emotional issues. I feel like this conflict is going to be over. It might be because you're torn between two situations and there's agreement and disagreement and, and you're not uniting in your agreements. But finally, I feel like there could be uh, a resolution. Now, because I see justice prevailing, taking advantage very quickly of a situation might help. Seeing things clearly also might help. So what I'm going to do now is go to the Four of Wands and see these beautiful blessings that are coming in for everybody to see what they are. Happiness to the highest level. And there's the King again, the King of Swords. Happiness. What's bringing a lot of happiness is this clarity, this power. The King of Swords is about em empowerment by the truth. By seeing things so clearly, you know when people are investigating like when you've got the hermit or when you're stuck and you don't know where you're going, what's going to happen. The King of Swords gives you the power of clarity to see everything clearly and you become very powerful because you know everything, you know where you're at. So that is also going to support you understanding if that one area of your life you are feeling defeated because all your efforts are wasting. There's something, a constant truth that is annoying and is causing trouble. So you are, you need to know that you are destined to have your dream life, dream home, and and a lot of happiness, emotional fulfillment to the highest level. So that's that one. This was all in regard to the Four of Wands, wasn't it? And it shows the lovers here, a new beginning and empowerment. So there is a decision calling for you to make in regard to a partnership, number one, which shows a lot of happiness, a new beginning, the beginning of prosperity, and the magician giving you the power to move forward. Everything falls into place for you like magic. That's how powerful the magician is. So this was all in regard to what? To this blessing that's here. This extraordinary blessing that is here for you. This shows to me that um, something magnificent is going to take place. I feel like it's going to be something you would l really love. I'll put it here, the love. And I feel like you're destined for a lot of happiness. This this is like incredible for these cards to unite in one reading. Getting everything you love, having the happy ever after, the four of wands, all wishes and dreams, all established, and so much blessings pouring in that everyone in these illustrations, they've got their hands in the air hooraying and in gratitude for all the blessings coming in. So this is spectacular, my dear viewers. This could be to do with love, you know. This could be to do with the greatest love of all and having it all. This could be with to do with that. Or it could be with everything else that's coming. And the other one is, of course, stability, gold, wealth, money. All of that could be part of it too. So I'll put that one here too because that has its own... Um, situation here because we've got wealth, money all of it coming too you see so there's a lot of blessing pouring in for different people in different ways those who need love those who deserve love those who are 
um, ready to fall in love and start a new nest. And those of you who are already have got that, maybe they need other blessings like wealth and money to move them to the next level. Whatever it is, it's coming, and that's what I'm showing here. So there's a lot of wealth, a lot of abundance, and heaps happening here. Let's have a look at this area of your life that you feel defeated and why we all feel defeated. Each one of us has got this happening in their life in some to some degree. Okay, maybe it is work. Maybe it's a painful truth that's piercing the heart, the truth that eats us up and we can't do much about it. We're stuck. The stuckness is here. It keeps showing itself over and over the Eight of Swords. Even as I shuffle, I see it. Some of us are stuck, maybe doing service for others, maybe um, stuck because we can't move uh, due to timing, divine timing. Painful words, truthful words, separation could be the end of a situation. And it could be uh, that this is going to be a painful truth that releases us from this defeat. We know that we're defeated. We can't, we can't win, so we let it go. And we move on by working hard and moving well. It also shows abundance is coming that might release us and give us a higher spectrum of seeing the bigger picture. And a lot of rewards that will take us to the next level, move us to the next step, all of us. And money that will empower us, that we can help others, that we can have the power to move forward to the next level. That's another one. So we have the King of Swords helping us and the power of money. Now let's move into the next level. Let's see what justice is going to do for everybody. Justice. Oh, there's a card that just... I'll take three cards. Okay, justice is going to put an end to something that was suffocating us. That's number one. Justice is going to support us by having the power of the King of Wands, which is someone, fire energy, very supportive. It's also someone that will help us to reach to the next level by taking action and removing any obstacles and being relentless to, to reach a goal of success. We have also the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is about financial, long-term financial freedom and someone of Earth energy that is going to be very supportive. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This could also, also be something to do with uh, material land, money coming to you, a windfall, something that belongs to you or something that's been overwhelming you that's coming to an absolute end. Now, you are going to be having the power, the strength to overcome any problems. Now let's move on to the next level. And then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Let's have a look at the Queen of Pentacles for the collective. Look at that, the Five of uh, Pentacles, and I need two more. Okay, so something is hidden from you, without a doubt. We've got the moon again, again and again, twice the moon. Hidden matters. Mm, there's something hidden from you that, some secrets that are not revealed yet, they will get revealed. They may be in connection to someone of someone of Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person might be someone that could be um, someone that you might have abandoned, someone that's thinking of abandoning or leaving you in the call. Could be to do with money. There is possibility to do with money. It could be to do with, it is a hidden matter. And this is going to get revealed because you have two moons. So the truth is going to be revealed very soon. Let's have a look just for the interest. What, and it's to do with the sacrifice, but celebrating and support. Let's have a look just a little bit extra about the moon. What is the moon going to reveal for us all? And I'll go to the um, Chinese cookies after this. What is the moon going to reveal for the collective? I'm sure we're all different. Each and every one of us will have some sort of revelation. Some of you uh, will be very sad with what's being revealed. Mm, something might be very painful, guilt maybe anxiety and some of us are going to take time out and heal oh my god i just got it this could be something to do with this wreath the sorrow the loss this is to do with loss somebody's going to be grieving the loss that's what's hidden the moon is connected to somebody cancer maybe the star sign cancer because the moon is the rule of cancer what is hidden the higher soul is trying to say to you prepare if something's going to happen this person could have earth energy in them or water they could be earth and water cancer is one then it could be virgo taurus capricorn sleepless nights crying the end of a matter the wreath mm. sorrow over a loss of someone there could be somebody passing that could be the thing that was the ending. Something being too much and it's coming to an end. Okay. 
something being done excessive, control, a situation that had to come to an end. It's out of anybody's hands. My goodness gracious, that was very painful. Okay, my dear viewers, um, let's go to the next level. Two important messages for the collective Monday Tuesday. We've got one and one more. And that's the second one. Okay, so we'll talk about the first one. Declutter, it says. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people upon uh, people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you wish, that you may wish to avoid. So that's not very good. Something being excessive, something hidden that's going to be revealed. And then it's got luck here. A sudden change of luck is likely. That could be a windfall that we see money coming. There was a windfall for somebody in their readings. Have a look at your general reading. There's a sudden rise in your money. There's wealth that was also here somewhere. So there could be luck playing a sudden change in luck. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. So there could be abundance coming. There could be wealth coming. Luck is going to be on your side. And that is the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It doesn't cost anything. It does support me big time. And I also need your support in watching these videos all the way to the end. Or if you get bored, just let them run their course without stopping them. That would mean a lot to me. I wish you a lot of love and light, a lot of abundance, and a lot of blessings. Namaste.